Today on Forbes, Volkswagen is investing up to $5 billion in Rivian. Upstart electric vehicle maker Rivian said earlier this week that Volkswagen is investing up to $5 billion in the electric vehicle maker and that the two companies are forming a joint venture to develop an automotive software platform based on Rivian technology. Collaborating with one of the world's biggest automakers could also help Rivian reduce some of its component and materials costs. Rivian shares, which rose about 9% on Tuesday, later jumped more than 50% to $18.49 in after-hours Nasdaq trading. In a media call, the CEO of Volkswagen Group Oliver Bloom said, quote, Initially, we are investing $1 billion in Rivian and are planning further investments of up to $4 billion. The additional investments will take place through 2026. He said that the additional investments would happen assuming the partnership achieves specific technical milestones, but he didn't elaborate. Support for the Irvine, California-based electric vehicle maker from one of the world's automotive giants, combined with the ongoing relationship with Amazon, its biggest investor and top buyer of its electric delivery trucks, may help ensure that Rivian launches its next products, the midsize R2 electric SUV and compact R3 crossover, on time. The new funds could also help it resume construction of its Georgia plant, which was mothballed earlier this year as a cost-saving measure. Importantly, the partnership also positions Rivian to better compete with Elon Musk's Tesla, as the leading EV maker aims to pivot its business model from selling ever greater numbers of vehicles to operating a robo-taxi business. According to Bloom, the 50-50 tech venture between Rivian and Volkswagen, which doesn't have a name yet, will focus on integrating infotainment wireless connectivity, and autonomous driving functions, among other things. Rivian's so-called, quote, zonal hardware design and integrated technology platform will be the foundation for the new software platform the companies will share. RJ Scaringe, Rivian's founder and CEO, said, quote, key for these types of collaborative relationships to work, in our view, is that there's mutual benefit to both sides. The scale that Volkswagen brings, the portfolio of outstanding brands that they bring, the opportunity to apply that scale to achieve meaningful cost savings across our build of materials and across our business, coupled with the ability to drive the acceleration of this technology to more products on the Volkswagen side, it really is highly complementary. Volkswagen's initial $1 billion investment is being made through a convertible note offering. An additional investment of up to $2 billion in Rivian's stock is to take place in two portions of $1 billion each in 2025 and 2026, this according to both companies. Another $2 billion will come in the form of a cash payment when the new venture company begins operating and a loan in 2026. Volkswagen hopes the Rivian joint venture will help solve quality issues with the German company's Cariad software unit, which delayed the launch of several models. The Wall Street Journal noted that in October 2023, Volkswagen hired an executive who previously worked at Tesla and Rivian to, quote, speed up development. Forbes senior contributor Peter Cohan writes that the complexity of managing a fraught software joint venture with Volkswagen, which is a far more culturally rigid company than Rivian, could divert Rivian's attention even as Volkswagen continues to manufacture potentially competing products in the U.S. through its Scout Motors business unit, according to the company Make Use Of. Cohan says that even while Volkswagen has made this deal, the company maintains its intentions to compete with Rivian. According to an email from Pietro Zolino, head of VW Corporate Communications, that was published by CNBC, the German automaker's plan to build a $2 billion EV plant in South Carolina for its Scott Motors trucks and SUVs, quote, has not changed at all. Cohan says that the joint venture with Rivian could fall short of Volkswagen's goals. Rivian's overstretched executive team could be so focused on generating positive cash flow that fixing Volkswagen's software woes might be a secondary priority. For full coverage, check out Alan Onsman's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.